What's up guys, just wanted to put together this video and for one second talk about a couple things. And the first one is going to be the difference between small cap markets, big cap markets, swing trading, and kind of how to navigate and go about them. See, most people don't realize that a bear market, there's a ton of opportunity, but we'll get into that in a second. So when you're thinking about stocks, what follows the S&P 500 or the SPY, or basically the biggest, you know, one of the biggest ETFs of the market, the general market in itself, the US economy, three out of four companies follow the S&P 500. So what we're talking about is like NVIDIA and Apple and Tesla and things like that, like three out of four companies are gonna follow what the SPY is doing. And it's kind of like symbiotic and it's like a sympathy that, you know, if SPY goes up, you're gonna probably get some uptrenders in those stocks or at least most of those companies. That's a bull market. When the spy is going down and it's a bear market and or recession and or depression coming, you know, that's kind of scary stuff, but you never know. Stocks tend to also, three out of four will follow the market. Now, small caps are a little bit different. They're kind of the liquid companies. They're companies that are not, you know, big on the radar of big money a lot of the time. And they don't exactly move like the spy does. Maybe once in a blue moon, you know, one will follow the spy, but what they are is their own, they're, they're their own kind of niche. And they're two different niches. So big caps, really good companies. Then you have small caps, shells of companies, not stuff you invest into. They're not really great companies. For the people that make a killing by buying low and selling high, unless you're a day trader, you're like the one dude that got one out of 10,000 companies. You got the one. You got the one gem, the one unicorn that turned into the next Amazon. But the odds are, you might as well just go play Powerball. Don't do that. <laughs> That's very bad advice. So do not, anybody that tells you to go buy a small cap and invest in it and hold it for 20 years, your odds are like infinitesimal at best. So be careful of advice like that. Now, small caps are technically almost designed to go down. Every time they run, they kind of go down. Every time they run, they kind of go down and over and over and over. Now, big caps are great investment vehicles. And this is not investment advice, but something like NVIDIA, something like AMD, something like Apple, something like Amazon. These are really good companies. These are billion dollar, trillion dollar market cap companies. Apple, for God's sakes, trillion dollar market cap. That's insane. Small caps are nowhere even in the same universe as that. But my point is, if small caps are pretty much designed to go down, then what are good companies designed to do? Go up. And that's when you get like bull and bear markets. Now, just because we're in a bear market does not mean that two things in big caps you still don't have volatility and you have these wonderful companies having trend either down or trend either up so you can buy low and sell high or you can short high and cover low essentially i know what that sounds like it sounds like hindsight huru it sounds way easier said than done my point being is when you follow trend up or down bull or bear market you can make a lot of money but you got to learn the patterns you got to learn and know what you know what to do and set the right stops and things like that. Now, with small caps, just because it's a bear market does not mean we don't have the line of line. Stuff candles, um, you know, death candles, death lines, first red days, these are some of the strategies that we teach. And no matter what the market conditions are, small caps are, they're gonna do their own thing and there's gonna be opportunity. See, as traders, bull market, recession, guys, it doesn't matter. What matters is, is their volatility and do you know how to trade that volatility? And that's what we teach. That's what we specialize in. No matter what the market's doing, we're going to make money. Our members are going to make money. That's how it is. So if you guys enjoyed any of this really quick rant today, just on kind of like what the difference is between bull markets and bear markets and, you know, swing trading just in a nutshell, guys, I'll just make this really quick, is more hands-off style trading. It's longer time frame. So whether it be in small caps and day trading or it be you know, big caps and investing for the next 20 years, it's longer time time trading. So instead of being in a day trade from line to line or getting in a death candle, you know, really quick and make some money, you know, in what's called a scalp, it might be, you know, anywhere from three hours to three years. You never know, right? Like that, that's the, what's the opportunity there as well. So, you know, with trading, the cool thing to kind of like navigate and really understand is there's different play styles for literally everybody of any different schedule of any time frame that you want or you're comfortable with. And that's what we specialize in. So again, if you got any value out of this free video, I want you to go to myinvestingclub.com. I want you to do two things. I want to get on a call with you and answer your questions. I want to go the extra step and make sure that you know what you're doing or you have a community behind you or at the very minimum, get your questions answered. 
So you can text my line at 213-458-5997, or you can go to myinvestingclub.com, go to the top right corner and click book a call with yours truly. Now, at the very least, go watch our free webinar at myinvestingclub.com slash webinar, in which case multi seven figure a year trader Alex Tamiz will iron out all this stuff in detail.